Hi folks, um, so in this second problem that we're going to do on uh, this uh, worksheet, what we have is we've been given a structure here based kind of on little some steps, okay, so this is the elevation up here, we've obviously got the plan view down here, and the question is at the bottom, you can't see it, but I'll read it, it says, draw a perspective view of the given steps, but a spectator located as shown, so here's our spectator, here's our plan, here's the elevation, and the picture plane passes through the corner closest to the spectator, once again, the corner closest is right. Here. I'm going to call that corner A and it says the horizon line is 40 millimeters above the ground line. Okay, so very quickly, here's a little sketch of the objects. Okay, and you can see here in green around it, I'm actually showing the picture plane. Okay, and the object has to be projected onto that. So corner A is the one that's touching it. So very much like the last question, we're going to be able to take our true height of this edge here right from start because it is touching the picture plane. All the other ones will actually have to work out the way. I'm going to start off by trying to get this face right here but very quickly i'm going to go through the setup again there okay so i'm going to speed this up now in this so in this video so we start off from the spectator looking at the extreme most left of the point or of the object and extreme most right of the object that sets up our corner vision now that we have set up our corner vision i'm now going to bisect that to get my line of sight so i have to bisect the corner vision to get my line of sight now now that I've got my line of sight in there, I'm going to set up perpendicular to that line of sight. I'm going to set up a pitch plane. Okay, I'm going to label that, in this case, just PP there on the side. Now, parallel to my pitch plane, I should do it this way. Parallel to my pitch plane, I'm going to set up my ground line. So my ground line comes across here, parallel to my picture plane. That's my ground line. And 40 millimeters above my ground line, I'm going to set up my horizon line. Okay, this setup will never ever change. You get marks for the setup in the question in a leave and start exam. That there is my horizon line. HL, just so you can see it there a little bit better. Put it down a little bit further. So you can see I've got my object, picture plane, horizon line, ground line. The last thing I have to set up now is the vanishing points. So to find the vanishing points, they are going to go parallel to the faces. All faces are running in an upward direction. So from the spectator, go up to hit the picture plane, and other faces are going horizontal. So I'm going to go horizontal. Now that I've found those two points where it's hitting the picture plane, from those two points, we are going to go parallel once again to our line of sight. Do the sliding sets for us here. Let's cross now. From there, bring it down. That point right there is going to be VP2. And then I'm going to slide it all the way across again. This point right here will be VP1. Okay, so I've now got my two vanishing points. The last thing I'm going to need now is my star point. My star point, once again, will all project down parallel to your line of sight. Make sure that's set up properly. And remember, corner A is touching the picture plane. So from corner A there, I'm going to extend that down and find where A is on the ground. Okay, like the last question, I'm going to take the vertical height, I'll zoom up here now so we can see it a little bit better again. Okay, that should fit it in there. So I'm going to take the height for corner A from here, the first step. I'm going to mark that. And once again, heavy that in. Okay, I've now found that first face or the first corner or first edge of the object. What I need to now find is this part right here, okay? And then obviously make the rest of the face as we go along. So I'm gonna focus on getting all this front face. Now, how do we do that? Start off, I'm gonna find this edge, okay? So that edge is running in this direction in my plan B. So that means when I'm actually going from corner A down here, is at the bottom it's on the ground i'm going to project out or vanish out to vp2 because it is running in this direction 
Okay, where does that edge finish? It finishes here, which is this point in my plan view. Now I have to bring down what the spectator's view of that point is. So when the spectator looks at that point, he sees it here, but he sees it here on the picture plane. So from that point right there, I'm going to project it down. Okay, project that down. Now that's helpful to me because it determines to me the length that the steps are going back. Okay, they're going back as far as here. Right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the rest for the next step. So you can actually get used to doing this. I want to get the spectator's view of the top step. So it comes to there, spectator's view. From the spectator, I want the next step to there. Remember, I'm not going to bring them the whole way, and you can do, but I find that as they come in, it starts to get a little bit messy inside here. So I often just bring them until they hit the picture plane. Now, for where the two of them are coming down, I have to go, I'm going to use them in a minute, so I might as well get them ready and bring them down. Somewhere down there, and somewhere down there. So they'll be used in a minute. But before I can actually use them, okay, they're going to determine to me this edge here and this edge here. I've got the first edge, I need to find the second and the third. Okay, that'll then in turn help me find the topmost point up here. But before I do them, I need to actually figure out how to find these heights. So, I'm going to use an orange this time. So, that face there, if I shade it in an orange, just really, really quickly. There we go. That face is shaded in orange. The only part of that face that is touching the pitch plane is this edge right here. Now, that face, even though we can see it's kind of this step-like structure, it's actually a plain surface, okay? It's just obviously had chunks taken out of it. If we were to actually extend this out, this edge here, all the way out, at some point, that edge there would go through the picture plane. To find where it goes through, if I extend this one up, where it actually goes through would be right there. Likewise with the top one, if I extended this edge out, and then once again extended A up, because that's the line that's on the picture plane, that's where the top one is. Now, this height here, which is actually this height, and then the topmost point height from A up to the top, which would be this height, from the XY line up to here, okay? Those heights can be actually measured from A because this here is actually on this whole surface. It's just like this kind of corner chunk looks like an L was taken out of it. You can actually see it there, okay, that shape there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take those heights from A up to here and then A up to here, and we're going to vanish them back in this direction, which would be in the direction of VP2. Okay, so to get those heights, what I would actually do just to be accurate, from here, just do a line up, and then from these guys, so we slide the z-squares here, put my t-squares on the ground, parallel to the x-y line, extend this out, and this out. Now, the height I'm going to take for the second step, from here out to here, is that height. I'm going to mark it from A, because remember it's all on the one plane surface. And I'm going to do the exact same for the height of the third step. Up to there, once again, mark it from A. So there's my various heights. You can see those little marks there. That was the height of the first step. There's the height of the second. There's the height of the third. Now, every one of those steps is on this face here, which is going in this direction. That means I have to vanish them all to VP2. So I'm going to vanish this one ever so lightly. I'm going to vanish the next height. And finally, this one. Now, what I have to do is, I'm going to heavy in as far as the first step. The first step is going to end right here. That step goes back to there, then it goes up, back and up and back. So, first step is going to come to here because that's where the first step finishes. Follow it down. Use the information here. Then I know it goes up to the second height. Now it ends back here, so follow it down. That's where it's going to end there. Okay, and then it goes up to the third height, which was here, but when it's vanished back, it's going to be here now, and that ends here at the back. 
And before you know it, we have the front face or the side face completed. Now what I have to do is, I have to get all these surfaces here. These three upright ones and these three flat ones. Okay. Now all of those faces are running in this direction. Which means I'm going to be banishing every point on the object to VP1. Now at this point it will get a little bit quicker. You just still have to be careful with your accuracy. Now I'm not going to bring this one because it's actually underneath. We wouldn't see it. So every one of them has gone out to VP1. Now what we need to do is we need to find the front face down here. This kind of face here. That edge right there. So where is that edge? Find it in our plan. That edge in our plan view will be here. So if I bring it down to my spectator, where it hits the pitch plane right here, I'm going to extend that down then. Or I should say project that down. So where that comes down. The boy was running out. There we go. There we go. Now, where that came down, you can see here, it's after cutting through the line. Heavy this in. And heavy this in. Okay. Now you might ask, how will I find the second one? Well, there's one way I could do it. This is where the edge starts. I could bring it down to my spectator. Stop it at the picture plane. And from there, just be very careful with your sliding sets words. Project it down where it hits the picture plane. Now my second face should be in here, from there to there, my heavy in this. Now, at this point, we, we probably know that we have to connect those two points there. But I didn't actually need to do this, okay? I just put it in to explain this next point. I didn't need to do that, and I won't need to do this one here, or vice versa with this last one here, okay? But what I could have done was, where this point was here, to go back, it's actually going back in this direction to make that step there. It's going back, and it would have cut through this line that was going in this direction to find me a little intersection point there. So to find that intersection point, as I said, this face was going in this direction, which means that it's going out to VP2. So if I'd extended that out, you can actually see it would have gone through the line right there. And I'm actually, my accuracy is quite good, so it's after working out. So um, once again, just got to move what the lights are going off. There we go. Now, this time I'm going to do that method to actually get the point rather than bringing this one down. So from here, I know that edge is running back. Once again, this one here, I've now got this point. I want to find this one. I've got this line going out, so where they cross each other will help me find this point. So from here, it's going to vanish. It's going in this direction. It's going to vanish to VP2. And where it cuts through the line going this way is a point right there. Okay, now if you wanted, as I said, you could check your accuracy. I could bring this point down to where it's, oh, sorry, down to the spectator, but where it hits the pitch plane, project it down then. And this would be a good test of your accuracy. Now mine is, I'm about half a mil out, I'm going to say. You can see here I'm about half a mil out. But when the drawing is this tight, that won't even be noticed. Just heavy that in, probably also because I'm using biros. Maybe this in. Oh, made a slight error. Apologies. And there we go. Now, just to show you where I made the slight error, you can see there on the very, very tip top, I just extended my line a little bit too far, so I shouldn't have gone that far. But that's the second question completed there, guys, okay? Just be very, very careful. You can always check your accuracy if you bring the points down to the spectator. You don't need to bring them all down. Just be careful when you're doing the steps here that you're following the correct method. Every one of these points has to vanish to either vanishing point one or two, depending on the direction that it's going. Okay? So that's the second question completed there, guys. I hope you found that helpful.